And if we ever doubted our calling, you just have to understand these numbers. In the few short weeks since Sheila's accident, the unpaid professional SAR communities of BC that Sheila was a part of have answered another 100 calls. Even as members of Sheila's SAR fraternity gather here today to pay tribute to her ultimate sacrifice, their colleagues are answering the bell throughout this province. We have to. It is too important for us not to be there and Sheila would never forgive us. In my recollection, Sheila never missed a task and she came ready to take on any assignment, always volunteering no matter what the job. She was happiest at the leading end of the pack on the front line. Sheila possessed an unprecedented zeal for SAR and her desire to learn everything was inspiring to others. Those who took courses with her and worked tasks with her praised her abilities and her dedication. Sheila was the strongest woman I've ever known. She gave the best bear hugs, had a mischievous smile, and big brown eyes that could convey anything. She had an innate sense of justice and incredible candor. You never had to guess what was on her mind. Our roots and our morning star. Where there is darkness, let there be light. For once you're gone, you can never come back. But we will meet again. And we will be together forever. Gone, not forgotten, for now and not forever. It's better to burn out than to fade away. Thank you for sharing your beautiful life with us. We are blessed to be a witness. We are honored and lucky to have shared life with you. You're free to express and explore new art. Everything happens at once. Anything is possible. Hi. As you know, Sheila was an artist. We'd like to paint a picture for you. <clears throat> Sheila was always a work in progress, emerging and evolving from one beautiful stage and moving on to the next. Sheila took the chairlift to the top of the ski run, and from there, where most skiers and boarders look for a good trail down, maybe a safe trail, Sheila looked up at how much more mountain that was available. The top of the chairlift was the beginning of her climb, not the run down. Sheila's dedication to search and rescue sprung from a principle that you had to give back, that you had to help other people. She felt privileged to enjoy the mountains in British Columbia. She was keenly aware that there were risks and new people could get lost and hurt or worse. Search and rescue was an outlet for her high principles and her abilities in the outdoors. In the end, she sacrificed everything to help others. But above all, she was about family. <clears throat> we talked to her every day, at least Teddy did, and she texted her mom every night. Good night, TWH, which stood for the White House. Our house is white. I wed you. Good night, my racehorse, because they ran together. Sweet dreams, racehorse. Every night. Sheila always said she'd been riding, not boarding or skiing, riding. We all know that sometimes the destination is a disappointment but the people who get the most out of life enjoy the ride. Thank you. <laughs>